Greetings all. Uh, a little bit of a different video today as I want to share with you a uh, pen that I just received, haven't opened yet, uh, a uh, commissioned pen from Sean Newton of Newton Pens. And I initially contacted Sean back in November of 2013. It's uh, the end of June 2014 as I make this video. So uh, it's been a bit of a wait. Uh, he has a long queue these days and didn't actually start on my pen until February and because there were some uh, additional things I wanted him to do such as uh, engraving on the barrel and engraving on the cap top. Uh, it took longer than even normal for one of his handmade pens. Uh, they say that uh, delayed gratification is a very positive thing in life. And as you can see, I've, uh, well, let me pan down a bit. As you can see, that's been my uh, mantra throughout my life, delayed gratification. Anyway, please join me for the experience of opening the box and seeing what Sean has delivered. Okay, so let's open up the box. <laughs> and the first thing we see is, uh, well, the very first thing we see is Sean's business card from Newton Pens. Thank you, Sean. And on the back, uh, it says, learn how, to, learn how Newton Pens helps to send kids to college. Read mission and scholarship at www.newtonpens.com. And I can attest to the terrific work that uh, Sean does with is raffles and creating pens uh, for those raffles and all of the money collected goes to college scholarships. Sean is a teacher himself so that's please check that out that's great. Second thing I notice is a tie. <laughs> I guess um, Sean knows that I'm always underdressed and need a tie. Oh, very neat. This is... This is sedate, but actually the kind of tie that I would wear. And what does it say here? Tie in the sky. Wearable art. Each item purchased from Tie in the Sky is an original piece of art. Because each piece is handmade, no two pieces are identical. You may note minor variations in the fabric patterns or sewing. We appreciate your purchase and hope that you find much enjoyment in owning our work. And then some care instructions on the back. That's really terrific. Thank you, Sean. Great. Uh-oh. There's another tie. Sean, what are you doing? Do I have to dress up twice? And this appears to be wrapped around the pen box. And this is also Tie in the Sky wearable art from Dallas. Very nice. Guess I'm going to have to go out to dinner. And thank you, Sean, again. And here we have, aha, uh -huh, this I believe might be my new pen and uh, very nice uh, glass or acrylic pen tube with cork or wood, feels a little bit like cork, uh, end pieces to keep the pen secure. And before I do the big reveal of the pen, just see what else is in here. 
some paperwork, contact information for Newton Pens, and the warranty, which is guaranteed for the life of the original owner against defects in workmanship or material. If a part fails or falls apart, I'll repair or replace it. If your dog eats it or you drop it, I can make new pens, new parts rather, but at cost. And some more information on there. Cleaning. Oh, that's helpful. Cleaning, use, inks and stains. Uh, lining things up. Very good, Sean. Personal note, let me see if this has anything... that uh, I shouldn't reveal. No, it doesn't. Norman, thanks for the trade and the super patience. I hope your enjoyment correlates with the time it took to receive the pen. Warm regards, Sean. I'm sure it will, Sean. And drum roll, please. And there's a little pen sleeve, which is containing the pen. And I have seen pictures of this, so this is not going to be a total surprise to me. But it's uh, going to be the first time I actually see it. And, oh my lord, that's gorgeous. Wow. I'm going to uh, move the camera and we'll take a closer look at this. So, be back in a moment. This is a hefty pen. Um, the way Sean's site works is he has a number of base models, quite a few actually, uh, and this was the uh, the Gibby is the base model, but you can decide upon clip, uh, the type of filler you'd like, bulb filler, uh, I think he's doing pistons now. I chose a button filler and you also choose the nib you'd like um, and I chose a 1.1 stub. We'll get a closer look at that in a minute. And um, you can mix and match uh, colors, uh, really, really design the pen as you want it. A couple of things that uh, he did for me, which he hadn't done before, I don't believe, is the engraving here, which he used the His Nibs Crown and HisNibs.com as well as putting the his nibs character whoops it's upside down on the uh, cap top now this is a before we take a look, uh, closer look at some of these items this is a hefty pen i just want to get a quick measurement here um, capped it's about five and an, almost five and a half inches. Posted. This is definitely an oversized pen. Can't even get it in the screen. Uh, posted, it's uh, about six and a quarter, between six and a quarter and six and a half. And with cap held aside, it's uh, five inches. So certainly an oversized pen all around. Uh, when I first started um, talking to Sean about this particular color combination of resins, he was calling it the uh, alabaster and amber. And while it was being produced, he changed the the name of the colors if you want to get something similar uh, for your own pen from his website to Caramel Macchiato. Sounds good enough to 
drink with my morning coffee. And let me uh, let me put my macro lens on this iPod camera, and we'll take a closer look at a few things. Okay, we're looking at the engraving on the cap top, and here is his nibs sitting in his throne. Uh, very nice job. I'll show you what he had to work with once I take the macro camera, uh, the macro lens off. Should have done that before. Um, to show you what he used as his guide for this. And then here is the barrel with the his nibs crown. This is a one of the fonts that I sent him. Um, not my usual hisnibs.com font, as you can see. Um, but I said, Sean, you know, here's what's available. You put what you want on the barrel. You put what you want on the cap top. I leave it to you as to what you think looks best. And he made a, a good decision. While I have this macro lens on, let's take a, a look at the nib. This is, as I said, an, uh, this is an 18K gold 1.1 stub. And the engraving is NP for Newton pens. And you can see it's quite a, it's more like an italic actually than a stub. If I don't like how this writes because of the sharpness, I may have him round off the edges of this to, to really a stub. Uh, but the proof will be in the writing. Very nice. And let's see, what, anything else we can take a look at? Well, we have this macro lens on. Undo the uh, the blind cap and there is the button filler. Doing this all by hand, sorry if I'm making you a little dizzy. And I think you can hear the Pillar working as it depresses the sack. And uh, one more quick look at the side engraving. And at the cap top. Be back in a moment. Okay, so this is uh, what Sean had to work with as far as the crown. Um, his nibs.com, although he used a slightly different font, and the his nibs character. Now, as I uh, say throughout the website, ordinarily when I break in a new pen and recommend to everybody to do that, I would fill a small bowl with uh, water and add two or three drops of dishwashing detergent, works fine, and fill that uh, once or twice and run that through the, uh, the pen whether it's a button filler like this one, or a, a lever filler, or a piston, really doesn't matter. 
the idea behind that is to uh, clean out any uh, manufacturing oils or little little bits of uh, perhaps plastic or ebonite that might be left from the manufacturing process. And then you would fill several times just with clear water uh, to get any of the detergent residue out. However, I noticed when I uncapped the pen that uh, Sean had already done that so as there was a condensation in the section. So what I'm just going to do then is to fill with real ink and we'll see how it writes. I uh, grabbed a bottle at hand and this is Private Reserve Arabian Rose. So let's remove the blotting cap. And then we'll submerge the nib and a bit of the section into the ink and depress the button filler on the back and release. Let me adjust this a little bit so you can see that. And it's partially filling with ink now. And let's do it again for good measure. So we have a, a nice full fill of the pen. And wipe off some of the excess ink. Put the bottle aside. And clean off the excess, especially on the section where I'm going to be gripping. And clean up the nib a little bit. I'm not too concerned about that. Put the blind cap on again so that I don't accidentally push the button filler and squirt ink all over myself. Although that might make for a good video. And let's adjust this camera angle again. And oh, that's nice. show this to you in a moment, but I just want to write a few lines. His Nibs Pen from Newton Pens. And this is with a 1.1 millimeter stub. Again, it's really um, shaped like an italic, but it's very smooth and I'm not having the problem that I thought I might have of the edges catching onto the paper. So let's just show you the difference between the up and down lines and the thickness of the cross lines. And it's a uh, substantial difference as you can see. Let me see if I can do this while I'm holding the paper up off the table. This is a little difficult so let me put that back down. And, uh, to show the variation which is fairly substantial between the thick and the thin and uh, this is going to be a real pleasure to use I better bring this video to an end because I want to start playing with this pen. Uh, Sean did a great, great job with this. I'm very happy. And I 
I know that you will be too should you ever decide that you want to uh, commission a pen from Newton Pens or to uh, help with his fundraising endeavors for education and uh, I invite you to visit his site newtonpens.com and uh, hope that uh, you'll be as pleased as I am and I'm sure you will be so I hope you enjoyed this uh, first look at the one-of-a-kind his nibs pen from Newton pens and now we'll take a proud spot in my shirt pocket and I think you can all agree this tie works perfectly with this shirt thanks again Sean